What's going on guys? It's still pretty early in the morning, but I thought while I had the chance, I would sit down and film a video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Summer 2022 Everyday Carry. I've got a lot of the same stuff as I normally carry, but I've also added a few new things as well. So let's get into the video. The way I have this video laid out is going to be... The more common items that people carry all the time, the more common things like phone, wallet, and keys, then things like belts, and then moving on into some of the more cool and interesting items like knives and flashlights. I'll try and leave chapters down below so you guys can skip around if you want to see just part of the video or if you want to watch the whole thing, I'd appreciate that too. Before we get started, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. And if you're new here, please consider clicking subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. All right, so starting off, I just have my cell phone. This was like, I don't even remember how much it was. It was pretty cheap. It's prepaid. I've had it for about four or five years now. It is starting to have some issues with storage, but it still gets the job done for texting and calling and all of that type of stuff so you can stay in communication with your people, and that is what is important. So super simple for the phone. I'm going to have to upgrade it at some point because it's falling apart, but... Um, yeah, super simple and it does the job. Now, as far as my wallet goes, I'm still rocking the Travax Armored Summit. This is a great wallet. I'm not going to lie. I've carried it for over a year and a half exclusively. And I have to say, one of the best minimalist card wallets on the market. Travax is USA made, USA based, and they make a lot of awesome products. So... Be sure to check them out. I'm not sponsored, but I'll leave some links for you guys down below. It's got a small money clip here on the back, so you can hold some cash. And then you can hold about eight to nine cards, I believe, here on the front side. And because of this metal plate, it is RFID blocking, which is super cool. I've made a full video on this wallet, but if you'd like me to make a one year later review or a video about anything new I've learned about the product, Go ahead and leave that in the comments down below and I will do that for you guys. And then as far as keys go, I've generally been carrying my keys on just a regular carabiner. But a while back I almost lost all my keys off of my ring when I went to put it onto my belt loop. So I picked up one of these Night Eyes locking carabiners so you can put your keys on and lock the one side so it doesn't open. So that's been super cool and helpful with that and it's kind of nice because you can take off and add as many keys as you want and then lock it and it won't open. I've been carrying this from my keys and then on my key ring with my one car key I have the original Tick Key. It's a great company, a great product, Tick Remover. You can check out the full video I did on this product but highly recommend having one of these especially if you spend a lot of time outdoors or camping or anything like that. So go ahead and check them out and give them some support. It's another USA based company and they make really great stuff. All right, for my belt, I have the Travax Cinch. Everyone needs a good belt and Travax, once again, a great American made company. Uh, they've come to the rescue with a really nice minimalist belt design, super simple and um, really nothing overly complex at all. Just gets the job done and that's it. So really easy to use really simple and it holds up really well i've worn mine exclusively for the last eight months since i got it i will have a video coming on it for you guys soon but it's really great and it works really well and i like it a lot just a few more of the more common items that is one is a hat which i've been wearing lately because of the summer and the sun and the heat and everything and this is the condor outdoor tactical mesh back adjustable hat it's kind of cool because it's got the velcro on there so it comes with the american flag patch which i really like and you could also just put any patch on here you wanted as well as on the back they have velcro there as well so super super cool um pretty affordable hat and i really like it a lot i've been getting a lot of use out of it lately and then also another one of the more common things is sunglasses these are the foster grant ramblers they look um, really cool and stylish, and they only cost about $18. I was going to get an expensive pair of sunglasses, and then I decided 
um, based on how many pairs that I have broken, lost, and scratched, that it would probably be better to find a um, pair that looked similar to the ones that I wanted, but for $20 instead of $150. So pick these up. I've been wearing them all summer. They work really well, and I like them a lot. Now we're going to get into some of the more unique but not totally unique items that I myself particularly carry or use on a daily basis. The first thing is leather work gloves. I use these legit every single day. These are the Kinko number 98 driving gloves. I've made a full video on these. I really like them a lot. I go through them like crazy, probably like three pairs a summer because the amount that I use them, but they are really nice and I like them a lot. So that's what I'm carrying for work gloves and I legit use these things every single day. All right, here's a couple more of the things that I carry in my pockets. First is a Bic lighter one, just because it's nice to have a fire source. So that's pretty much it. And I do use this not every day, but on occasion. So it's nice to always have this with you instead of having to go digging for it. Another thing that I carry is the Fisher bullet space pin. These pins are really nice. This particular one, I'm having quite a bit of trouble with the ink refill. I think I got a defected one. So I'm going to have to get another refill for it. But I really do like this particular pin because it is the matte black with the pocket clip. And these pins, in my experience so far, I've had three or four of them. And they work really, really well. This particular one just seems to have a few little issues. So I've got to get that ironed out. And then another thing that I carry that I don't see as much um, with other people carrying is earplugs. I have this little 3M case. These are also 3M earplugs. They come in a three pack. Lots of threes going on there. But um, it's nice to always have extra pairs of these. I carry these in my pocket every single day um, simply for the reason that I use them every single day. Um, probably three or four times a day. So whether I'm at the shop or the farm running power tools or you know, just anything outdoor related that's loud. These come in handy and it's nice that I have them on me. I don't have to go, well, where did I put them in my bag? Or which vehicle did I leave them in? Or where are they in the shop? I lost my headphones again. Where it's, it's with me all the time. So it's super easy to just pull them out of the pocket. You're getting ready to do something. You don't have to stop anywhere to get any of your personal protection gear like earplugs. You just simply have it with you pull it out of your pocket and start your job. Right now for a watch, I'm wearing the Casio Duro. I still do have my Seiko and I wear that one mainly on the weekends. This one, the Casio, is a little bit more budget friendly and it's really my beater watch. I like the watch a lot. It's very stylish. It does what a watch is supposed to do. Um, but it is cheaper so when I go on trips, or I have more dirty jobs to do, I'll either take it off or wear this watch because it is durable and I don't feel as bad. I still would feel bad, but not nearly as bad if this one was scratched. So I wear this one pretty much every single day when I'm at work and traveling, and then I wear my Seiko on the weekends. Um, great watch, um, budget-friendly, and super stylish as well. Now we're getting into some of the good stuff here. Quick little story, I've carried the Olight S2R Baton 2. This is not that, but I've carried that flashlight for probably three or four years. Well, I went for a hike with a friend and I started the hike with the light in my pocket. And when I ended the hike, the light was no longer in my pocket. So my S2R Baton 2 rest its soul is gone. I keep hoping I'll find it. I've retraced my steps. I still haven't found it. So. I have gone to my next flashlight in line, which is the PowerTac E12, another good everyday carry light option. Now, PowerTac does not sponsor me, but they have given me a discount code to pass on to you guys. So if you use code AKOGR at checkout, you will save 30% off your order from PowerTac. This flashlight is already pretty budget friendly at around $48, I believe. But if you use code AKOGR at checkout or the link in the description below, which automatically applies the code to your cart, you can get this light for about $35. So PowerTac, while they are not Olight and don't always have some of the fancy designs that Olight has, definitely 
has done well in the budget arena of things as far as producing affordable lights that are high quality. So this one is super durable, it puts out 1250 lumens of light, great flashlight. And if you're looking for budget options or beater lights that you don't have to worry about falling apart on you, then I would definitely recommend checking out PowerTac. Once again, code AKOGR at checkout saves you 30% off. I'm not sponsored. This is just a way they have of passing on good deals to you guys through me. So go ahead and check them out. Now we're going to get into the part of the video that everyone loves and really the um, one of the only reasons that people watch everyday carry videos. And that is what knives do you carry? Well, first up, this is a box knife, not really a knife knife. Um, but I carry it because I need it for work. Milwaukee Fastback, one hand open and closed. Pretty simple, got the pocket clip there on the back. And the only reason I bought this knife is because I had to have it for work. And I wanted one that was one hand open and closed. So this one fits the bill and it also is quick replace blade. You don't have to fight with any screws or anything. You just press the button and pull it out and then put it back in. So that's why I picked this one up. I've done a whole video on this box knife, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. Now, for the actual real knives that I've been carrying lately, it's been the Leatherman Skeletool CX every day, pretty much for the last probably month and a half. I do usually rotate between this and the Spyderco Tenacious, but I've been getting a lot more use out of this one lately, so that's what I've been carrying. Super great multi-tool. Made a full video about it, so you can check it out, but it's got just the essentials on here. One of the best lightweight everyday carry multi-tools use this thing every single day got screwdriver pliers wire cutters and a knife blade and it also has a pocket clip which is one of the really great things about it one of the reasons that i carry this one is because of that pocket clip so great multi-tool go ahead and check out the full review if you want more info on it and this is one product that is really great leatherman is usa made and they just make really great stuff Another item that I've added to my carry recently has been a fixed blade. Not necessarily every single day, but mostly every single day, just because I've been interested in trying it out and seeing um, if I used it or what I did with it and different stuff like that. So picked up the SE Azula 2. Now I was going to originally get the Azula, just the regular Azula, but I started looking at specs and <laughs> researching and figured out I'd probably get more use out of the Azula 2 based on handle size and different stuff like that as far as comfort goes. So picked up the Azula 2, got the micarta scales on there. These scales kind of stain, so that's kind of sad right now. I have, uh, what is this on here? I believe it's uh, chainsaw bar oil from cutting wood the other day, but I've been using this knife, as you can tell from the marks on the blade here, uh, quite a bit, um, carrying it pretty much every single day. And it's a pretty nice little fixed blade. Once again, USA made, SE makes some great knives, really durable. And their warranty is just bulletproof. So that's really nice as well. Same as Leatherman, they have a great warranty. Right now I've been carrying it in the polymer sheath that comes with it and I've got it uh, mounted up here with the clip and the screws so that I can carry it in pull it off my belt sideways. Been using this thing quite a bit actually and I like it really well. More than I thought I would so I'll be bringing you guys a full video on this knife eventually once I'm finished testing it out but it's a great little knife and um, great design, great company as well. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video taking a look at my summer 2022 everyday carry. If you did give it a big thumbs up, share the video with a friend and leave us a comment down below. Let's get the conversation going about what you're carrying in your pockets this summer. If you guys are new here, please consider clicking subscribe. We try and make a new video every week. Thank you for watching. Once again, stay safe and we'll catch you on the next video.